Welcome back to America Right Now. Okay, it's time for your Newsmax polling roundup on the eve of this Democrat National Convention. Let's take a look at some of the latest head-to-head -head numbers from Emerson. Take a look at this. This is from this week, 50 to 46, according to Emerson, Harris leading Donald Trump. Let's get some data now from a couple of the swing states. New polling also from Emerson in the critical state of Pennsylvania, Donald Trump uh, leading by just a point. And then in Michigan, a lot of folks say that between Pennsylvania and Michigan, that's, that's the ball game there a dead tie between the two of them. I want to dive a little deeper now into uh, a couple of the other issues here, particularly uh, the personal finances and the economy. We know that that's the top issue that is facing voters, the thing that they're most concerned about. Some good news here for Donald Trump. Take a look at this, 45 percent, uh, and when you add it to stay about the same, it's a majority, and a solid majority of Americans believe that they are going to be financially better off uh, or about where they are if Donald Trump becomes president. Not true. Only about 25 percent believe that they will be financially better off if Harris becomes president. If this comes down to the economy, these two numbers here are going to be really critical to any undecided voters and how this actually all plays out going into November. All right. Now, it's really critical at this point in the campaign to understand how to evaluate polling data. You know, bad polls uh, that rely on an inaccurate methodology can be dangerous, whether their construction is intentional or not. They can feed a false narrative to the public, and they can even depress turnout. So as the general election ramps up, and we have less than three months to go now, be aware, not all polls are created equal. You Right now, you're looking for polls of likely voters. Those are the voters that are going to be more accurate. Registered voters can also be fairly accurate. Stay away from those polls that say just adults. Those are the least accurate polls. So very important. When you're starting to look at these things, now as we're getting into the home stretch, likely voters, really important to look at that LV or likely voter poll. The sample size and the structure are also very critical. Now, many times certain outlets will oversample Democrats as opposed to Republicans. It's very rare that that happens in reverse, and that can skew the data in favor of the Democrat. And be asking yourself, what is the turnout model, and how accurately does it reflect previous voter turnout? One of the other things that we've been seeing, uh, some analysts are saying that high-propensity voters are oftentimes oversampled. Now, high-propensity voters tend to favor Democrats, they are being oversampled, while lower propensity voters tend to favor Trump are undersampled. So remember, folks, when you see the numbers, don't just take them at face value. Here at Newsmax, we report on polls that have a thoroughly vetted methodology to ensure that they are more accurate than others. But as we head into poll palooza of the next few months, look a little deeper. And of course, keep it right here at Newsmax.